And a test speed run, uh, test bot speed run in this game would be amazing if the explosions were always the same. Yeah. Warning, tethers that's, that's what I'm thinking. Make a script to play almost any game at this point. Not necessarily. Uh, it works way better with retro games or games that are incredibly predictable. Uh, one of the reasons why Celeste works so well as a speedrun game, but also as a taskbot kind of game, um, is because there's no randomization with like what happens in Celeste. To my knowledge, like everything behaves the exact same way every single time. So there's no ambiguity about like. If I do this, what happens? It's always the same. Did they stop? Didn't actually get into the barge. That's silly. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Yeah, some games randomness can be handled if random is generated by user input. It's true. Salvage gained. Rewards increasing. But I don't think in the case of this game, the randomization would be manageable. You you'd have to. Okay, I just want to pull them free. Is it free at this point? Caution. Tether supplies running low. There we go. Those fuel tanks are worth a lot. Easy LT and money, I guess. Yeah, how much LT is that? 17 just for that. That's These fuel tanks are worth vaguely about as much as a whole ship. One of the smaller ones. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's worth a lot. Okay, so let's... Two shreds, you say. through a bunch of that stuff. I want to just unhook the back here. If I can manage it. Okay. This is still connected. Why? You. Why you? Okay, now they're separate. So my big question is... Kind of two or threefold. How do we remove this comfortably? Oh, there's still another power box. I should remove that before it explodes. Be interesting to have a ship with zero cut points. Oh boy. Oh, you can see by the red lights that there's no power left. That makes sense, actually. So they redo the barge. It seems to be more accepting unless you throw your stuff around. Yeah. So now it's actually a giant field instead of just a net. It's like a it's a basin. And so as soon as something passes the uh, the top floor, it pulls it down into it and then calculates uh, calculates from there. It actually makes a lot of sense and feels a lot better. Okay. Better idea than what I'm swinging with. What if I just did this? Huh. Okay. Didn't expect these panels to pop off so readily, but they are.
There we go. Oh. That probably helps. Oh. Oh. The airlock's still the issue. Oh, that's a that's a fuel pipe. Fuel pipe. How much do I want to bet it's actually filled with fuel? Let's see. But how the hell do I split this apart? I cut it the seams pre previously, which I think works reasonably well. It was kind of obnoxious. So let's... Let's try and cut at these seams instead. Because I gotta be able to rip out the airlock, and that's tougher. Wait, did I already, I already cut that, I think. Okay. I guess I don't need to delete the whole thing. I can just cut that. Okay. Same deal. Okay, are these separate? No. What are they connected by? Let's see. Helmet light. Five. Wow. That is, like, the least useful helmet light. Okay, so how are you still connected? Ah, this is the wrong spot. Wow, hey, thank you, Ver Verishawk, uh, for the thousand bits. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. I see no reason why these should still be connected to each other. This is always an annoyance. Yeah, not a single connection here. So it's just... It's just some odd spot where it's just like, yep, this, this is connected. Yeah, I was really hoping they fixed this. Oh, it's okay. I don't think they're connected, but they might be stuck. Now, if they have the exact same weight uh, or mass, then they're connected. See, it's 5,795. It means one of these connections is still hooked together somehow. It happens occasionally, uh, just based on proximity. You're, you're doing well. Beat Resident Evil 8 on the hardest difficulty. Uh, second time on the hardest difficulty. Oh, boy. Yeah. No? Yes. Now they're, now they're separate. Okay, so I can pull this out. Awkwardly, but I can. It's this specific room that makes this ship hard. I think everything else about this ship is actually pretty easy to handle and remove. But this one, this one gets stinky. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred.
Okay, so I'm just going to move that out of the way for a hot second. Alright. Throw that over there. Boy, actually having these get kind of close to my face is a little worrying. Alright. Send that one off. Door panel that I should probably hold on to. Yeah, we'll just leave this to collect later. Once we actually have a straight shot at, uh, at the furnace. Okay. Then pull this one out. Okay, you go over here. That other one might need some help. But I might just bonk something into it and hope hope that it flies in instead. Okay. So now let's get bargy with this. I was really hoping the the wall would pop off this thing, but it's still hooked on. It shouldn't be. Like to highlight the ridiculousness of this. This panel, this wall, is not held on by anything. It is held on purely by by merits of physics. Oh, it did get both. Perfect. So I don't have to think about it too hard. Well, fake physics, I guess. More than actual physics. Hey, thank you, Battle Ready Eagle, for the 17 month resub. Love this game. Keep up the fun content, Wander. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the support. Okay, anything else in here? No, this sucker goes in the furnace. There's like one or two things to throw in, like the uh, the fuel pipe, but. Warning. No tethers remain. Apathy. Apathy reigns. So how many ships worth of stuff did you lose when you died? I actually don't know, uh, and I don't think we'll know until the end of the shift. Okay, grab my tethers. I really need those bombs. Let's see, new debt, uh, 2.4 million. So that's like half a ship, ship's worth. Oh, sweet poster. Oh, did it run out of juice? If he got stuck. Are you kidding me? Hailed itself. Okay, let's try that again. But without casual spaceship impalement. Okay. Other thing is, I can probably remove this this big superstructure. Let's see. Yeah, I, I think it's loose now. So have all this bonus paneling that I'm... What did this fall off of? Oh, maybe it was just hidden. Okay, we got anything else sitting around? I mean, there's, some, there's a little bit more Debris, but a, not a whole lot. Boy, I should, uh... Before we go, do we want to see if there's some hacks that specifically give me, um, super physics powers? Oh, gosh darn it. Because I wouldn't mind doing a ship or two, uh, with crazy physics abilities.
Okay. Yeah, just infinite tethers. I mean, honestly... It's kind of tempting to just give myself infinite tethers regardless. Like, just the act of having to go buy them is just kind of weirdly inconvenient. Okay. So we do not actually want to decompress here. Uh, even though it's kind of tempting to do so. Oh. Well, this is a... This is an issue. Yeah, there's no more power. I guess. This is gonna be fun. Alright. Not actually sure if that was a problem. Bottle. Oh, right. Bottle goes in furnace. Salvage games observed. Aha! Snack food! I was afraid of snacks. Right, let's take a look. What's the dangage? Actually, I think we're good. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see. Take a look. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, so just blasting the door is more than enough. Um, kind of stuck on this. Okay. Is there mu multiplayer? Can you do stuff with money? Well, use money to pay off your extreme amounts of debt. There's no multiplayer yet. I hope so. Like, I, I legitimately hope they had multiplayer. How's that? Okay, there we go. Like, I realize it would be an insane amount of work, but, gosh, what are games that, like, don't have multiplayer that really could use it? There aren't that many of them where it's just like, holy shit, this needs multiplayer. Above and beyond everything else. I've played, like, a couple others. Subnautica's a good one, yeah. You know what? That's fine. Yeah, playing Subnautica with friends would be really fun. I know the first one has a multiplayer mod that I've heard is actually pretty decent. So that might be something to look into at some point. Subnautica stream. Hey. I'm really looking forward to uh, the DLC coming out. Oh, right. The ceiling of this does pop off. Yeah, they uh, they sent me an email asking specifically when I wanted, uh, if I wanted a code for, uh, for the 1.0 version. So I should be getting a Steam key for it. Unfortunately, the embargo drops, I think, at release um, on Friday, so we're going to have to wait patiently to actually get to that one, but that's okay. I can be a patient man, especially because I have so many other games that I need to play. Like, gosh, I was thinking about it the other day, it's like, how the hell am I ever going to finish anything? And the answer is, I'm pretty much going to spend the entire year playing catch-up for, like, the sheer couple of games. But realistically, we're just going to leave a lot of games unfinished. Uh, that's a good example. Well, I mean, uh, Shell and I are going to be playing new Pokemon Snap after this, but uh, I don't think we're going to hundo that game. I'll have to look at what you get for the high-end... high, high end, um, I'm not going to say the high-end high zones. 
but the higher level zones, if there's some reason that you absolutely have to get them, because a number of them seemed like they'd take some serious effort to get up to. Um, and that might just be the kind of game that we... What? Okay. That might be the kind of game that we get to the credits on and then just stop. Even if it's good. Just because otherwise we're going to be stuck there eternally. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Gotta get all the SNOM photos. If there's SNOM. If there's no SNOM, uh, I don't know. Okay. Where's... There's my cut points. Let's see. Are these loose? I think they're loose at this point. Oop, cap, snap it. All right. Got a couple more here. Okay. Get the rest. So for lucky. Pull that out. Look at the rest of this. Ah, there we go. We can pull the butt off. Alright, so far so good. Might even be DLC for new Pokemon Snap. Boy. I'm excited. I don't know. I, I think that's actually really cool. Uh, the, the new new Pokemon Snap really is going to get the attention it deserves. Like I, I think I'm still bouncing off of it a little bit due to lack of nostalgia. Uh, but I got to admit, like what they've done with it is really impressive. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Tethers depleted. I'm just gonna wait until this pulls out. I'm gonna go buy some fuel. There we go. Okay. I wonder if I'd have to Spider-Man around if I ran out of fuel to, like, get places. That actually would be really cool. The reason why it works is because it's not a mainline Pokemon game. Ouch. Big ouch. I wonder if I can get my grappling gun strong enough that I can bonk my head there. Okay, fuel and tethers. Tethers restored. Yeah, limited tethers, no fuel. I... it... <laughs> you know, I, I'll look at... I'll look at the, uh, what cheats there are for this game. Because that would be fascinating and so hard. Okay, let's just keep pulling the rings off this. They're just gonna get jumbled back there anyway. Okay. So the big question is, how do we crack this nut? I guess, first and foremost, there should be a battery pack in here somewhere, yeah? Nope. Or there is, but it's on the back side. Maybe there's a battery pack on the back of this. 
There is. I like that system. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just cut a giant stinking hole. Right here. There we go. And then we're gonna cut this loose. Because this, this whole thing is just annoying anyway. Okay. There we go. Is this loose? Looks like it. Alright, so this entire structure goes in there. Perfect. And now... I can rip out the tasty innards of this uh, in complete safety. That's a way. Be this is a way better system than all of my other solutions. The hell? Okay, there we go. Yep. Reorient myself. It's a little messy, but it's okay. Yeah, not having the fuel tanks front and or front and center. Uh, not having the fuel tanks in the the middle of this is kind of big because that gave me a lot of immediate leeway with with just cutting around without having to worry about exploding anything in my face. It is kind of tempting. Maybe we'll just do a free play. Uh. Let's see. Like a free play for the last thing. Where I just run in. Oh, I wonder if the free play actually lets me have the demo charges and like all of every bit of upgrades. Because that might not be a bad move. I just want to blow a ship up. I want to get messy. It does give you demo charges. Yeah, because I never actually did the free play that I wanted to do. Okay. I think the rest of this dang thing... ...can just go. There's like a little bit left. There we go. I don't think there's anything else of any intrinsic value. Deposit accepted. Let's just yoink it. I've got a couple of tethers left. Caution. Tether supplies running low. And hopefully by pulling these in two separate directions. We'll just go. Nope, ran out. There we go. I don't know if there's anything else left in there. But that's okay. Oh. Thanks. I love it when that happens. It just tethers to itself like a dang fool. I think whatever is left at this point is just superstructure. I don't think I left anything valuable behind. Valuable component destroyed. Penalty applied. Welcome to Vintage on 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Tethers restored. Okay. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. 
Gotta make sure it doesn't end up in the furnace. I. That's... Did it just grab the damn wall? It did just grab the damn wall. It's okay. Yeah. I think whatever is left is mostly just the, uh... The big bits. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Valuable object process. Credit yeah, deposit. Got the thruster cap already. Didn't actually. It's still there. Okay. Sidewinder this in. Processing valuable object. So far, so good. Ship tear down complete. Cutter account credited. There we go. At least tell me I didn't just grab the wall. Nope, we're good. Okay, cool. In it goes. We hit three. Ooh, hand. I I have hand, in fact. Okay. I can smell the food on the way. So I'm thinking we maybe switch over to free play for the rest of this and just get goofy. The Z and X for hand. And... Uh, and... Oh. Okay, enter hab, we good. Yeah, those ships take about an hour to rip up. Which I guess would be four shifts by the old total. But, uh... It's certainly worth a lot. Oh, gosh. I might see if there's a mode that gives me double MP and LT. Okay. I have more unread messages. Data recovery. What are we? What are we going to get? Okay, access. Nope. Oh, I like that. Like that's this is really pretty, actually. I love this level of like just really flat. Low poly art almost. I should learn how to do this. Because that's absolutely the kind of thing that, like, that's the kind of art that I make. Uh, or could make. I don't exactly work in that style. But it wouldn't take me, it wouldn't be that bad to do something like this for me.